How the good guys managed to survive, we may never know. I'm Ashley with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 insanely broken anime villain powers. You took away so much from me, everything I tried to build. That's why I want you to suffer until your last breath and die broken and disgraced for all the world to see. For this list, we'll be taking a look at the anime abilities belonging to villains that were so insanely strong that it's a surprise they were ever defeated. You ready? List. Number 10, The Great Fitzgerald, Bungo Stray Dogs. Money may not be able to buy happiness, but who knew it could afford you super strength? As it happens, the vast quantities of wealth Francis Scott Key Fitzgerald has to his name can not only afford him vast luxuries, such as a flying mechanical, but also serves as ammunition for his abilities. The more money sacrificed, the more the leader of the guild gains in human strength to the point where he's able to easily contend with Atsushi's wear tiger form and Akutagawa's Rashomon. The almighty dollar sure packs a punch. <laughs> Number 9. Accelerated Growth Rates One Punch Man <laughs> He may not be at Saitama's level, but if the human monster keeps going the way he has been, it falls within the realm of possibility that he one day might. Garo may get his ass handed to him on regular occasions, but thanks to his innate ability to adapt and come back stronger, he's shown to be able to smash his way through the likes of S-Class heroes like they were nothing, leaving them as nothing more than bloody wrecks. Like an evil rubber band, this guy just keeps snapping back, to the point where we're eager to see just how far he can get before that eventual rematch with a certain caped baldy. <laughs> Number 8, all for one, My Hero Academia. I don't need your quirk. It wouldn't pair well with Tomura's disposition. Why just have one superpower when you can have them all? The disfigured mastermind behind the formation of the League of Villains, All Might's eternal nemesis isn't only the OG of all supervillains, but has a quirk that puts all others to shame in terms of its destructive potential. Being able to steal powers from others and hand them down to those of his choosing was impressive enough, but the fact he keeps the best for himself so he can mix and match at his will is just insane. You don't want to be on the receiving end of one of his quick combos. It sounds as though you'll die full of regrets, All Might, as a hero and as a teacher. Number 7, Dark Dark Fruit, One Piece. In the history of all devil fruits, this is said to be the most dangerous power of them all! The Logia-type Dark Dark Fruit. Given how he's en route to become the de facto pirate villain, it only makes sense that Marshall D. Teach has a devil fruit that can put him on top. While forfeiting the traditional defenses of a Logia-type, the rewards that the Dark Dark Fruit provides more than make up for it. <laughs> With a body now comprised of darkness, Blackbeard can not only bypass the seemingly invincible bodies of other Devil Fruit users, but can also create black holes that can absorb and then spit out a whole town. Oh, and he somehow managed to steal Whitebeard's power for his own. Number 6, Skill Hunter. Hunter Hunter. The head of the spider, the leader of the Phantom Troop, the Lord of Epic Requiems, 
There was no way a guy like Krollo wasn't going to have a crazy ass ability that can put all of the Nen users to shame. While a specific set of conditions have to be met, Krollo's skill hunter remains a force to be reckoned with since it allows him to seal the Nen abilities of others away that he can then summon at his leisure. The fact that it allowed him to survive an encounter with both Zeno and Silver Zoldic speaks volumes. Number 5, Gate of Babylon, Fate Zero. A filthy worm like you should face the ground, crawl on your stomach, and die. He's got unlimited ammo, and he's not afraid to use it. An archer class servant whose noble phantasm is only matched in scale by his own ego, Gilgamesh is not someone you want to toy with unless you're ready to feel the sting of a million weapons flying at you at light speed. With seemingly no end to his arsenal, which happens to be comprised of powerhouse tools like Ea, it's no wonder that the so-called King of Heroes managed to waste so many servants and masters throughout two Holy Grail Wars. Now awaken Ea! A stage worthy of you has been set! Look up and behold, Enumai Leash! Number 4, Kyoka Suiketsu, Bleach. <laughs> Honestly, did Aizen even need the power of Hogyoku? Seems like he was perfectly capable of wiping out Soul Society all by himself thanks to the all-consuming nature of his Shikai. Able to induce a hypnosis that grips all five of his opponent's senses, the former captain of the 5th Division was easily able to deceive his foes to the point where he could trick them into stabbing each other in the back. What the hell are you guys doing?! <laughs> Paired with his overwhelming strength, it's no wonder it allowed him to cut down any Shinigami who challenged him. Really makes you wonder why he didn't just bust out his Bankai and wreck everyone's shit. <laughs> Number 3, All Fiction, Medica Box. Ah, Kumagawa, dead inside, always smiling, with the nasty tendency to put the screws to people in the most literal way imaginable. While his goofy nature and obsession with panties might lead other abnormals to underestimate him, they soon learn the error of their mistake when he busts out this potentially world erasing minus. <laughs> Stabbed all over? Just undo the wounds. Fighting against a magical artist? Just slowly erase all color from the world until only black and white remain. Imagine what he could do if he started undoing body parts instead. <laughs> Number 2, King Crimson, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Golden Wind. It just works, okay? While putting this stand's ability into words can often be a Herculean task, what remains perfectly clear is just how deadly it can be when deployed in combat. Diavolo's time-hopping, time-erasing, time-shifting, lag-defying ability has spelled doom for enemies of Passione and basically anyone who knew even a fraction about his true identity. Abakio, Bucciarati, even Paul Nereth ended up getting their asses handed to them when they first encountered the boss. <laughs> Unexplainable doesn't mean ineffective, as King Crimson has proven time and time again. Or hasn't, because he erased time and, uh, I forget it. Not quite at the end yet, almost there though. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. 
All right, back to business. Number one, Holopsion, Recreators. <laughs> Behold the deadliest weapon in all of fiction. You know, besides shipping. Fueled with despair following the loss of her own creator, Altair declared a one-woman war against the real world and any other creator that stood in her way. Turns out, with the omnipotent power of the Holopsion on her side, she has the means to do so. Able to transport fictional characters into the world of the living, revise their plots, copy their weapons, and at one point create a brand new universe, yeah, you don't want to mess with the military uniform princess. So which of these evil powers do you wish you had? Let me know in the comments below, maybe check out this other video, and subscribe to Watch Mojo.